This part of the library is designed just for members of the college. All of the colleges in Oxford have their own libraries that are designed just for the students of that college and that's what this space does here. The College Library contains all of the subjects that the College offers to our undergraduates as taught subjects. So that covers French, Maths, Music, Chemistry, Physics, all of the things you would expect. We buy over 4,000 books every year for this part of the collection, so it's rapidly growing and we're still buying lots and lots of print books. It's not all just electronic resources as I think people might imagine now. The College Library is open from 8am in the morning till 1am the following morning, so our students work very hard here, they spend a lot of hours here in the library, so we try and make the space as nice as we possibly can for them when they're working here. We're now standing in the magnificent upper library here at Christchurch. This was the library as it was originally conceived from the plans drawn up in 1717 uh, for a library which opened in 1775 to house the College's ever-growing collection of early printed books and manuscripts. It houses around 40,000 items in this main space alone and we have about another 40,000 titles uh, housed in other parts of the college which form what we now class as being special collections for the library. The library has a very strong connection with Lewis Carroll or Charles Dodgson as he was known in his professional life here in Christchurch. He held the position of librarian between 1855 and 1857 and the office which I now get to work in every day used to be his office the desk that he sat at, I see the view from the window that he saw every day into the Dean's Garden that features the tree that the Cheshire Cat sits in, the place that he met Alice for the first time in 1856. We also have a range of objects which we care for uh, as part of the historic collections here in the library. The most famous of those is probably Cardinal Woolsey's hat and is certainly one of the most popular things that people always want to see uh, when they visit the library. The library isn't just filled with old books. There are lots of very modern things going on in the collections too. We're actively photographing the rarest and most precious material in the library's collections and publishing those online which are freely available for anyone anywhere in the world.